Hi everyone, it's Andre from Jagged, just get it done business and equipment management software. We've previously released some videos around how RFID equipment works in a context of software, how you can check equipment in and out and track it against jobs. But we've now been getting quite a few questions from the community on more practical um, applications, as in like how to, for example, best attach the tags to the equipment, which tags are most suitable for which surface, how long things take to set up and then how to best get the information into a software so that you can actually use it. So Nick and I have just spent the last hour and a bit tagging all this equipment that you can see here in front of me. This is all equipment that's been used out in the field so every single item has been retrofit, there has been wear and tear on the equipment before already. So it is in the context of real rope access gear. So we've tagged a whole bunch of carabiners, descenders, helmets, harnesses, a couple of power tools. It took us about an hour and a bit to do all of this. Next thing is what I'm gonna do is show you how to get this equipment into a software and then how to bundle them into kits so that when you're scanning your gear in and out in the morning or returning it again in the evening, you can just scan the kit bag and you don't have to scan each individual item. Yet if you get audited on a single carabiner and you need to show the history on that carabiner, you can do that in a very easy way. We have three options of RFID tags available. The first one is the RFID stickers, which work on fiber, plastic, any non-ferrous materials. We then have the RFID dots, which you will attach with Loctite 480. They work on metal or just about any surface. And then we also have got cable ties with one of these chips actually inside the cable tie. So if you can't glue it on, but you can tie it on, you can use a cable tie to attach. The first example I'm going to use is the stickers because they're the easiest. You can either just stick them on a rope and then use heat shrink around it, which you can also purchase from us. The other way to do it is to put it on your toolboxes. You could put it on the tool itself, but we recommend to actually put it on the toolbox because when you're loading and unloading trucks, you don't want to have to open each individual box. So we generally go by using the outside of the box and just assume that your technicians have checked the content when they're using it. And then another option, I have here an example of a cable tie which I've attached to my Petzl chair. And you could also put them onto your harnesses. We've actually opted for going with the dots on the harnesses. So here I'm actually tracking the crawl itself on my harness. And this dot here has been designated to the actual harness itself. Now that we've tagged all individual items and have scanned them into our inventory, it's time to bundle them into a kit. So what we'll do is we'll actually just pack all this gear together now, put it into my kit bag, and then inside the software we'll assign each of these items to this kit bag which then has its own RFID tag, in this case here I used a cable tie. So once we've got everything in the kit, we'll then show you how I would go to work checking out my kit bag, some power tools and some ropes and then tracking those against the job and the person who took them. Now I'm going to simply check out my kit bag and the rope that we're bringing and my other rope. I've got here my gas detector which is in a metal box so I've attached a red dot on that one and I've got here my Easy ID stickers because they're outside on a plastic box and hey, voila! All the gear has been assigned to the job I'm going to and it's been tracked that I've signed it out today at the time it is now. Now that I've checked out all this equipment, we have a record of who took the equipment, when it's been taken and what job it's gone to. The next stage would be to either return the equipment into the warehouse, into a vehicle or send it straight to another job, in which case I simply repeat the process of scanning all the gear and as we're doing so we're starting to build a historical record of where our equipment has been and who last took it. Uh, this is a really handy feature especially for people who get audited like for example IRATA companies. One of the big challenges around there has been to how to track every detail within a kit, every carabiner, how to track which jobs the gear has been on and actually still keep it financially viable without having like trees and trees of paper lying around and it's wasting a lot of time in the morning and at the end of the day checking gear in and out manually. So with this technology, as you can see, you can scan a kit bag, you have a record of where everything's been within the kit, 
and if you ordered any single carabiner you just pull up the history of the kit and you know where your gear has been so if you are looking into simplifying your auditing for Arata, please give us a call. We'd be happy to help you get set up.